Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given a system of mean quantities. We have y is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 5, and y is greater than or equal to x plus 2. And we're asked which of the following order of pairs is a solution to the system. Now what we could do is we could try and graph this in the xy plane using the lines and shading in regions. That's really not necessary. What we can do is if we plug these points in, right? So for the first one, we'd be plugging negative 6 in for x and 0 for y. Since only one of these can be true, only one of them will have both of these inequalities be true when we plug in the points. We'll see what I mean. We can start with A, plugging in negative 6 for x, 0 for y, and we'll see if these are true. So if y is less than or equal to, so it's going to be 0 is less than or equal to, negative 3 times x is negative 6 plus 5. So we have 0 is less than or equal to, negative 3 times negative 6 is 18 plus 5. If 0 is less than or equal to 23. Now 0 is less than or equal to 23, so that's good. Now we check the other one. y is 0. It's greater than or equal to this time. x plus 2 would be negative 6 plus 2. Going through, we have 0. It's greater than or equal to negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. And this is also true. So given that this point satisfies both of these inequalities, we know that that's actually our answer. Uh, I will actually show you B. We can see an example of something that doesn't work. This one, we're going to have x is equal to 0, and y is equal to negative 6. Doing the same thing, plugging in x and y, we have here negative 6 is less than or equal to negative 3 times 0 plus 5. Negative 6 is less than or equal to negative 3 times 0 is 0 plus 5. Negative 6 is less than or equal to 5. This is true. Now we have one more equation. Hopefully this isn't true. Otherwise, we'd have more than one solution that's possible. But plugging this in, we have negative 6 is greater than or equal to x plus 2 is 0 plus 2. Negative 6 is greater than or equal to 2. This is not the case. Therefore, b is not the answer. And if you did this for c and t, you'd also get that either one of them or both of the inequalities does not work. So a is going to be your final solution. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.